Is Canada broken? We hear that often. Or is Ottawa broken? Or is the media broken? The answer to that coming up in a second. But first, you know I have to say this because he wants to get paid. Donations are very, very welcome. And ask your friends to subscribe. Andrew Enns is the vice president of Leger, executive vice president of Leger, famous polling firm. He joins me right now because I want to put that question to you. We hear all the time from some people Canada's broken. The government tells you, no, 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 everything is fine. You go out in the street and you get a very different picture. That's what you do. You went out in the street. Yeah, we went out and talked to people. We, uh, we asked that question for, uh, for our friends at Post Media. We, uh, uh, we did it a year ago. We found a little over two thirds of the, of the country said, uh, or of Canadians said that the country felt uh, broken to them. Right. This a uh, couple of weeks ago, we found 70% of Canadians said the country feels broken. And um, yeah, it's not great. So it's not just Ottawa is broken, the country is broken. And yet people are, well, I anecdotally, in Buckhorn, I talk to people, I mean, they're just waiting for this government to end. In other words, I say, yes, things are bad, but we are okay. People, Canadians are okay, we're just gonna tough it out. I, I think there's, there is politics. It's partisan. It certainly breaks down in terms of political, uh, political allegiance. Um, I think, though, there is a sense that, that there's too many things that just don't feel right in the country. We, a, a year ago, 18 months ago, we had little specific things. Passports, things like that felt like, uh, like just seemed just impossible to do. Yeah. Now it's not so much that, it's, but it's things that just gotten so bloody expensive. Housing is, is becoming now an impossibility. Um, people are worried about the economy, interest rate. So there, there's more, more substantive things are piling up. It just feels things aren't going in the right direction, Stephen. And so uh, are people, and I, I, I didn't look at all the, the details in your survey. I read the reviews of it. Are people, though, blaming the government or are they blaming world events? There's a lot of anger at this government right now, federally. This uh, is why the prime minister says, don't worry about the anger. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard. I mean, look, I understand governing, governing is challenging and you, and you can't sort of be uh, tied to the public opinion polls. But yeah. What you have to do, though, is you have to get on a, on a message track that starts to tap into and starts to take the temperature down on some of these things. And right now, the tough issues, rising costs, housing, health care. These are hard issues for anybody to get in front of. But the Prime Minister just said the other day that he's out there fighting for the issues that matter to Canadians. LGBTQ rights and women's rights and, you know, anti-poverty. Yeah, Stephen, unfortunately, the top four issues right now for Canadians are rising costs, uh, housing affordability, health care. And unfortunately, the Fed, when, people, when we ask people what the federal government's focused on, the environment, uh, immigration pops up. That, that's part of the problem. Yeah. They need, I mean, they'll say to you, we're talking about inflation, but unfortunately, I think they like talking about some of these other things a little too much. Well, you're doing the survey. Andrew is. Thank you very much. Three minutes. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.